this is definitely part of sociolinguistics, the study of language use in society. But uh, here particularly in this module, you will know that interactional sociolinguistics is a procedure that we apply to analyze a real interaction. The social interaction, real interaction that takes place in a context. In this procedure, when we use the term context, we mean the context that is internal to interaction. Here the external context is definitely present. We interact in some real situation, in some office, in some workplace. But when we analyze the interaction, this external context has no role. The context will emerge out of the interaction. So, uh, this should be kept in mind uh, while studying this procedure that here context is conversation, interaction, internal context. Language of interaction creates context. During interaction, the language that we use, it becomes context of the interaction that takes place. And uh, here, during interaction, not only context develops, the relationship and the roles and identities of the talkers, of the participants also develop during interaction. In IES, Interactional Sociolinguistics, meaning of words is not pre-given. Words are given meaning during interaction. Here, meaning is co-constructed, jointly constructed by the participant of the interaction. Words get meaning from the context of interaction. How do we create? We are repeating this term that we create context, we create relationships, we create identity, we create meaning. So, how do we create? We create our self identity and others, our views about others are also constructed, are also created during our talk. When we talk about them in real time, interactions. An interaction involves more than one person. The creation is collaborative because this interaction takes place in some community of practice, in some office, in some organization. So, there more than one person is involved. So that's why this interaction is collaborative. Gender identity is also created in the real interaction. You see, when we say that we create our self, self means our identity and we have several identities. We are husbands, we are brothers. We are officers, we are employees, we are players, we are also men and women. We also possess gender identity. So, if other identities are constructed by interaction, gender identity is also constructed during our interaction. It is not imposed by culture. So, gender identity is constructed by the people themselves when they use language in a particular setting. 
it is not imposed by culture by cultural norms that's why is has relevance to our understanding of gender so right from the beginning of this course in several modules we have repeated this point that we differentiate sex and gender sex is something given it is biological we are born men we remain men we are born women we remain women that is something unchangeable but gender it stands for cultural construction and this construction takes place during our interaction this approach that is interactional socio linguistics this approach will explain how this construction takes place this approach and the term that we are using for it it was introduced by gumpus and uh, gumpus was himself influenced by goffman who were these people let's have a very brief introduction gumpus was american linguist and goffman was canadian american sociologist actually gumpus who introduced this method of analyzing interaction to understand the process of construction of identity he was influenced by goffman what was contribution of goffman Irving Goffman full name he gave him a frame for analysis this is his contribution and what is that frame we will see when we apply this procedure in the following talk in this approach how we get data for analysis we need data our data would be interaction and how we approach that data audio visually recorded data would be used and naturally occurring conversation would also be used it means in is interactional socio linguistics data can be recorded are live data from live naturally occurring talk can be used for analysis and it is here that interactional socio linguistics becomes different from conversation analysis if you remember we have already discussed in detail about conversation analysis with reference to community of practice etc one difference was that interactional socio linguistics uses the method that is taken from sociology source of analysis method of analysis is different in conversation analysis the source of analysis method of analysis comes from pragmatics and sociology one and number two interaction and conversation both are the same what's the difference then the difference is that in is recorded and unrecorded both types of data can be used for analysis but in conversation analysis only recorded and scripted data can be used first we record then we turn it into scripts and then scripts are analyzed in conversation analysis this is the difference this data because it comes from talk talk consists of words and words based data is called qualitative data so data is qualitative how do we collect we collect it through observation and interviews from the participants interactions 
are recorded, then transcribed. The transcriptions are not IPA transcriptions. You know, if you have studied phonetics, we have a special alphabet that is known as International Phonetic Alphabet. You know, this alphabet doesn't consist of letters, it consists of sound symbols. So, these transcriptions are not made following that IPA. No, that we use in phonetics. That IPA is not used here. Here, a special set of symbols is used for transcription. Uh, I will introduce those symbols uh, in the coming uh, talk, in the following modules on it. After analysis, data is discussed, and from discussion, we draw conclusions. This is the whole procedure for application of interaxial sociolinguistics. The conclusions are then explained in light of cultural norms and social order. You are aware, familiar with these terms. IES focuses on relation between individuals at micro level and norms and ideology and cultural expectations at macro level. So it connects IS, in fact, connects micro level interactions with macro level ideology, norms, and social expectations. So, we conclude from this whole explanation of IS that gender identity is social construction, number one. This construction takes place during interaction, real interaction. And this interaction is analyzed by using IS procedure.